Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the Garage Gym Experiment Podcast. My name is Adam, that's Jake, and we are back again for another great episode. On today's episode, we have a home gym con update. Jake's going to be running you through some prize lists for our competitions, and it is amazing. Uh, we have a new release, the Pepin and Rep combination. The adjustable dumbbells came out today, and we're going to go over those. Uh, a new segment on today's podcast is going to be responding to comments. We, we have some uh, comment responses. Jake's going to go over those and break those down for you. Survey results. Jake took me through a would you rather last week, and then we posed those questions to you. So we're going to get your uh, the community's take on those. And then I have some would you rathers for Jake. All right, Jake, prize list. I can't wait. All right. Thank you, Adam. So this week's Home Gym Con update is just a, a look at the prizes and giveaways happening at Home Gym Con. So we have huge lists for all of the strength competitions. We have um, a list for the premium ticket purchasers and then something and then other other just like raffles that will be happening. So, um, you know, this is best to be seen because there's so many that I'm actually not going to read off. Um, but I'm going to go through some of the highlighted uh, prizes for each of the main sports. So grip competition, number one, uh, $2,500 in cash is up for grabs. All of these cash, all of these prizes, we still need to figure out specifically how it's going to be distributed. But but this is um, what we have so far. So 2500 in cash for the grip competition, um, a number of specialty bars like the edge bar, um, the rep open trap bar. Um, you know, one thing that was added over the last few days was the picture in this um, slide, the ATX cable crossover. So like a $4,000 prize. We have some gift cards. We have a lot of grip implements like uh, two napalm nightmare handles from Arm Assassin Strength Shop. We have, you know, stuff from Clevabilt, stuff from Microgains. We have um, a Thor handle from um, Stronger Grip. Um, they also have a... Um, Somewhere on this list, they have a, uh, what else do they have? A blob trainer. So tons of stuff for grip. Um, moving on to Olympic weightlifting, we have $2,500 in cash as well. We have, um, let's see, a 500 pound weight set of bumper plates from homegrown lifting. We have these beautiful custom made um, plates from bridge built, uh, change plates. We have a few things from uh, Cleva built. So Genesis, Genesis Jack Pro, which is a really nice deadlift jack for anybody lifting heavy weight. Um, great Olympic weightlifters would certainly appreciate this on their platform. We have uh, something else from ATX, a Viking Press 3-in-1 that you can also do squats um, with it, a machine, you know, barbell from, from um, Solid Bar. And I'm just I'm just reading about half of the prizes. Uh, Strongman. So this one actually has the most prizes. So again, twenty five hundred dollars in cash. We have two different leg presses. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we have one from Insight Fitness, and then oh, that's another cool, that from vertical ATX. One? Yeah, this is a more specific wow. vertical one. <laughs> um, Adroit Landmine. Yeah, um, let's see, uh, Cerberus deadlift bar, the Home Gym Con deadlift platform, 10 sets of speed pens from Surplus Strength, Abmat's given a bunch of stuff. Um, oh, and then eight $400 prize packs from First Form. I believe those are designated for first place in each of the divisions as kind of a starting prize for them. And then lastly, we have the full access tickets. So we have 50 full access ticket purchasers. Um, built, these are, these will all be up for grabs. So there's a force USA G three, um, belt fed strength belt, hundred dollar gift card from Crandall, um, micro gain dumbbell, dumbbell plates, ATX, um, GHD. And then, um, Five people will be getting fat grips within their um, bags that they'll also be given. 
And then, um, you know, I didn't put these on, on the slides, but there will also be, um, ATX is, is giving away a custom home gym con engraved barbell. That'll be raffle. Prime fitness is giving away their entire booth, their entire booth, their entire to one booth person. to one person. Prime um, fitness. and I don't, yeah, this is just, insane. these are just raffles that you have to be there. Clever built. Um, so they gave some to each sport. They're going to be giving the rest of their booth to as like a raffle as well. Um, <laughs> gosh, I, I no, know actually they're not because um, I think I'm just going to bring a truck and take it all home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually it's no insane. giveaways. Insane. Oh my gosh. Adam and Jake are taking them home. Uh, if, if you're so. looking at the visuals to this, I mean, it's overwhelming two pages with like, I mean, just think about that grip competition. Um, there's probably like well over twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars worth of equipment and prizes and all that for a free grip competition that you just show up and have some fun with. It's insane. Yeah. Wow. And, and I've and done Olympic lifting for many years, and uh, in the maybe fifteen competitions that I've done, um, one or two of them had like a tub of protein and a gift card, like a $50 gift card as a first place thing. So yeah, crazy. And yeah, I mean, as of right now, like the, if you do the grip competition, like you're going to get something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure more 20 people, people signed up and there's signed. 20 prizes. <laughs> yeah. Ish. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much a guarantee. Um, <sighs> I mean, there will be more people, uh, but sure. I mean, like the strongman competition, you know, That's like how we're going to max out, right? I think we're going to max out on participants for the strongman. So sign up ASAP. We have four um, open spots left. Is that right? Something like that. Maybe yeah. less. Um, so, so yeah, sign up ASAP helps us prepare as well. Even if it's just the, definitely the, the free competition. Uh, but, but really in general, I just want to emphasize that, you know, we're going to be doing this again at the next home gym con and really think that there is potential for each of these, um, with the amount of prizes, the amount of support from the vendors, I think we can create some really awesome competitions and maybe get some, uh, high level athletes in the years forward. And, and this, these can possibly be like really something on people's radar from year to year. So the great, great, uh, first year, uh, prizes for the competitions at home gym con. Can you think of any other like amateur competition, like series like this, like if you call this like home gym con series or whatever that offers this many <laughs> high dollar prizes, I, I couldn't even no. begin to think of one. I mean, yeah, I, I've been to the Arnold. I've competed at the Arnold. There, there are no prizes for like, levels of like where I was competing at at least like, yeah, it's insane. But I mean, all, all of this credit goes to the vendors, vendors. you know? Yeah. They're, they're amazing. Amazing. And, uh, I think they also kind of see the vision and the value of helping out the athletes at this, uh, at these events. Yeah. Um, that should be good for now. Let's move on to... <clears throat> All right, we have a new product to release. It is the Pepin Fast Series Dumbbells. They have partnered with Rep to make the Rep and Pepin Dumbbells. They're made entirely of metal and have been extensively drop tested from every angle. CNC cut plates with black powder coat and coating with a pro style head. Um, it does have that Pepin cage, but um, it adjusts the same as if you uh, use the Pepin Fast Series as well with the knobs on the side. Real quick adjustments. Um, they include two and a half pound microplates for adjustments, the expandable cradle, knurled handles, dumbbells up to 85s, our price right now, right at $900, to 105s, uh, $1,100, and then to 125s, uh, $1,300. I love the Pep and Fast series. I think it's super cool what Rep is doing, partnering with this company. Jake, this is exciting. What do you think? Yeah, I think this is a partnership that like nobody saw coming. And it's, yeah. it's really cool. Um, these look awesome. They look like total new bell killers. 
um, for that price. Yeah. So 85 pounds for $900. I, I mean, again, like if you're, if you're just coming in the home gym scene, you, you may think like, Oh, that's, that's kind of expensive, but no, it's like no. a very good price. I think, uh, I was scanning through comments on Instagram and, um, Facebook as well. And most people were very pleasantly surprised with the cost. Um, I think they look good. I think, you know, I was, I mean, I was reading, like, I'll just pull up, let me just pull up the, um, I just thought it was so cool how they, I don't know if like Abmat inspired them, but they're kind of taking a page out of Abmat's book and partnering yeah. with all these people. But it says, um, reading the overview, it starts off by, uh, Rep has innovative minds in our Colorado-based engineering team. At the same time, we sometimes run across other inventors doing awesome things. These are our people. We want to support them. That's why we created the Inventor Series, a special line of products invented by a small, outstanding inventors from around the world. We collaborate with the best of the best and then work closely alongside them to optimize their ideas using our resources and knowledge of the home and commercial gym market. The goal is to simultaneously lift up other gym equipment inventors while making their amazing products more accessible to more people. It's a win-win. So this is just one example. We've, we've, we've talked about other examples they've done in the past. This, I think this is their best one. Uh, so no offense to like bell fed, but these are pretty awesome. Um, love, yeah. Love that collab too, but yeah, this is to get like I, did, a piece of equipment like this. It's insane. Did, did you see this coming? No. No. So, so I, I didn't tell you. So I, I was at Ursa and we were just kind of talking about things that they might bring to home gym con. And they did tell me that this was coming. Um, and I, I'm surprised I didn't tell you. I usually at least tell no, you. That's awesome. But I, they also told me not to tell anybody, but oh. I usually tell, I usually tell, they didn't even tell me we're like, we're like the married couple. Yeah. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> of course. <you> tell. <laughs> yeah. I would tell you. Um, so, but when, but when they said that, that to me, I was a hundred percent shocked. Didn't like, yeah. that's not, that's not a, something I saw coming, but really the, uh, Pep and dumbbells were, they had the, before this, they had the reputation as being the best home gym dumbbells or just adjustable dumbbells. As far as like easy to use, I mean, we used them at home gym con last year. They're easy to use. They're very durable. They're compact, but they were very expensive. So for rep to, you know, use their manufacturing and bring the price down to the, this, uh, very impressive. Obviously, you know, we want to, we want to test them out before saying they're the greatest thing in the world, but these do look like really solid options. Um, I think the only thing missing from, from my end is like a stand. It'd be nice to have a stand. I didn't see sure, a stand. Yeah. yeah. And then the, also the, um, you know, you pre-order them now and you don't get them for like four and a half months. So yeah. there's that as well. I love that. Um, that adjustable cradle though, like the one cradle and then you can add your, I, I think I was just reading the comments. It looks like you can like buy the 85s yep. and then buy a kit to go up to one fives. And they're like one of the few dumbbells who will give you up to 125 pound full set. Uh huh. Yeah, I love these. Hmm. That's gonna yeah, take us are... to our. Um, would you rather later, Jake? So keep oh, this in okay. mind. Um. Yeah. So good option from Rep. Rep hasn't missed in a while. Just say that they haven't missed, and I think Doing this all is the my, right things. I think this might be my favorite thing they've released. Um. In a while. Maybe ever. Yeah, um, touch the Adonis before I agree with you. Yes, but I think like at the I'm thinking also just like practicality. Like yeah. almost for, everyone for wants the masses. Yeah. For the masses, yeah. So yeah, this is cool. All right. Next up, we're gonna respond to a few YouTube comments. So one thing that we haven't necessarily done is do this in the past, but hopefully um Adam and I can add these in each week's um, each week to, you know, give a shout out to some of the best comments and also answer any questions. 
So uh, number one, high spin sp swing speed um, said that being a step ahead or first does not mean better. Considering that Rogue was able to pick the areas apart actually puts them a step ahead in my opinion. So this is referring to us last week discussing um, how Rep was kind of one step ahead because they were the first ones to release Ares and a lot of other people are just kind of looking at their design and making kind of a copy or just some, something similar. So um, I personally think that in this case, Rep is still ahead considering that they were able to put the 2.0 out, out like right after Rogue released. And then they're, they've also just uh, have all of the customer feedback to continue. And then they'll, they'll do this with the 2.0, then 3.0, then 4.0. And it will, they'll always just be a step ahead unless like, unless like somebody has another breakthrough. So I don't know. You, you guys let, let us know in the comments what you think about that. Uh, Adam, do you have thoughts on this? Well, I think the big thing with, and all the criticism that came from people at Rogue had to do with like the slinger. I, th I think it's pretty universal was a, was a disappointment. Um, just being like within the rack lineup and just the setup and everything. Um, and not really doing anything with it for so long. It wasn't just the Aries. It was like, just not having like a rack attached cable system period. Um, and then, you know, now coming out with like an Aries type, uh, functional trainer rack combination, it just seemed late on a few different measures. So I think that had something to do with it as well. Yeah. Something else in, in regard, and then in regards to the, um, or the, uh, <laughs> what's the standalone column it's name? The Bulletproof and uh, Adonis comparison. The Adonis. And then in regards to the Adonis and Bulletproof comparison. Yeah. Um, a number of people, a couple people reached out and, and said like, Hey, stray dog's been doing this ahead for a while. So, um, I threw up a few quick pictures. Um, Kurt Locker was one who, who said it on YouTube. So they have had an option for, for a little bit of while. It's, it's just one cable column. Um, but, but it does have the three by three uprights. It's uh, American made, um, you know, kind of a cool option. So just wanted to give a little kudos to uh, stray dog here. And then um, I also listened to Kyle and nice, like Mike's um, podcast where they kind of started it off by talking about the Aries 2.0 and yeah. how a lot, like the big controversy in the comments was like, Oh, why did I get the 1.0? Um, so I, I snagged a comment from, um, one of their, um, YouTube videos from F Wifo 42. And I'll just, I'll just read this out and then we can kind of talk about that, but diving right into all of the controversial topics. If I was rep, I would do the following. So number one offer to let anyone who ordered an Aries that hasn't shipped to switch that to a pre-order number two. For anyone that ordered an Aries that has been delivered in the last month, offer to let them return the 1.0 for a 2.0 pre-order. If the buyer wants to keep the 1.0, give them a discount on their next rep purchase. Some people will, will still be mad if they're outside of whatever accommodation window rep could offer, but at some point you can't make everyone happy. Looking at the two, a conversion kit isn't possible. You can do a full replacement and then sell your 1.0 but at most you could re reuse the stacks. I doubt anything else could be rep repurposed for a 2.0 install. Yeah, I think I think this is a, a good a good solid comment on the topic. I think one thing that I noticed Rep doing in the past, like if they were, they had a new product coming out, is they at least lowered the cost. Um, like they put it in that sale sale um area and i think people started to guess like oh they must be coming out with a 2.0 like a, the, they did that with some of their benches if you remember um but i don't i don't know if you want like it almost makes it obvious that something's coming out so i don't know if they wanted to do that with the aries and i'm sure they had like hundreds in stock so 
Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think it's just, it's just part of, part of life. Like I yeah, think this I mean, just happens. If, if you have, if you've budgeted for it and you're buying the 1.0, you know what you're getting. And I understand right, like, right. Oh, I missed the new version. Are you kidding me? But at the same time, like you decided that you wanted the 1.0 and you bought it, you're going to be happy with it. Um, and then as far as like the 2.0 coming out, it's like, well, do you want a company that doesn't make any adjustments on their products? Never. But I totally understand, like from a customer's point of view, like buying something and just getting like the, like I just bought this and now there's a better <laughs> version. Like I totally get that. But at the same time, it, I mean, it's just, it's just what happens. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're kind of seeing it with the dumbbells too. Um, people who bought the quick draws. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's just, just part of it. But I mean, like it's, a, that's a good sign that you're doing things like you're producing good products. <laughs> if people are yeah. mad that you're improving on them. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, and it, it's a, it's a good sign that like, that's a company who listens to like their customers in the community. Like they're, they're willing to put out 2.0. I mean, you've seen it with their functional trainers. Like they're on their yeah. like fifth version of their functional trainer. And it only gets better. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you can decide to like keep waiting because it's only going to get better or, Hey, I like this version. I'm happy with this version. I'm, I'm buying it. But yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Keep um, adding in good comments and we'll discuss them on the next podcast. Cool. All right. We're going to take you into those survey results. So last week, Jake took me through a handful of would you rather situations and we thought it'd be cool to release those out to you guys get your opinions. So here they are. All right. First one up is, would you rather have a sound system or TV for your home gym? The winner on this one was the sound system, 66%. So more than half the winner, right? Uh, going with the sound system over the TV in the gym. That's one against you. That's one. What'd you go with on this one? I would go with TV. Yeah. Um, but I kind of wanted to explain myself a little better. I would go with TV but I do find myself just using the sound system more when I, hmm. although I have both right now. So there are some times where like, it's like that typical, like I go through Netflix for 20 minutes and just end up watching the office back when I was on Netflix. So you go through and like, try to find the perfect thing to watch while you're working out and you realize you waste too much time. So yeah, sometimes it's nice just to have a sound system. All right. Uh, the next one on the, would you rather, oh man, over oh, two on me, uh, nine foot garage ceiling versus seven foot ceiling basement gym. 87% are going with the nine foot garage ceiling. Not that I don't understand that one. I do. I get it. Um, Jake's going with the nine foot garage ceiling as well. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I saw and, that one coming. And yeah. And, and then lastly, we asked full rogue gym or full rep gym. 62% went with, rogue, went with rogue still, um, versus 38% for rep. So Adam and I, we did this last week, Adam chose rep. And then I followed up and said, I think I'd choose rep as well. I thought about this. I think like if, you know, if unlimited space and unlimited budget, it'd go rogue just because they have so many like standalone options and yeah, you know, just like insane things. But if I'm buying and I'm also thinking about my current setup as far as like space, it's not unlimited. I would yeah. probably choose rep and choose some of their more like all in one type solutions. Yep. Yeah. Like I was the thinking adjustable dumbbells. in my space. <laughs> yeah. Right. I was thinking in my space as well. But then when I did mention this, I did mention like their sponsored athletes and their, their builds and stuff that rogue does. And that those are tough to beat. So yeah, if you had like unlimited space, like a pole barn or something like that, probably go rogue. All right. Would you rather home gym edition? with me <laughs> all right jake i went with i think six uh six we'll, we'll find out by the end I, I went with more yeah I, okay. I don't there's a couple caveats to these so i might have to give you like the situation but the first one uh, would you rather have a standalone lat tower or any rack attached i'm gonna go rack attached, rack attached. um you know just con i'm i'm considering my space and you know that it's tough to beat a standalone lat tower, but just considering, yeah, I, th I think like considering the quality of the rack attached, 
options these days, I'd go with, I'd go with that. Okay. Um, as long as I have at least a uh, four post rack. All right. The next one, full set of dumbbells or any adjustable dumbbell. This one's easy for me as well. Space saving, adjustable. Space saving, adjustable. I thought you might go there. Okay. See, when I did each of these, I thought, I think I know what he's going to pick. What about this one? Late nights or early mornings? I know sometimes you're like a lunch workout guy, but in this situation, late nights or early mornings. Yeah. I I work out 90% in the mornings, so easy for do me, like early it? mornings. Do you do it for your schedule or do you like it? Um, I love it. Oh, I love waking up. Nice. I, I don't want, I, I, I love doing my workout first thing in the morning. Wow. Um, if I don't work out early in the morning, I'm like typically groggy until I do work out. So, yeah. I mean, I've been working, I've been working out in the mornings before work for like the last 12 years. So, yeah. So yeah, I I've slowly been, made the, the transition. I used to be an early morning guy and now I'm a, I mean, getting done at 10, 11 o'clock at night, but it ruins you. You're, you're up for two hours after that. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, right. it's still not easy waking up, but no, that's what yeah. I choose. All right. We're going plates, iron or bumper. Cause I know both of us have kind of like gone back and forth on this one. Where do you stand today? Your entire gym has to be one iron plates or bumper plates. Um, I probably go bumper just because, bumper. yeah, I think, I think they're a little more versatile and they're quieter. And if I wanted to do Olympic lifts, it'd be nice. And then also I'm not like so strong that I'm worried about how many can fit on right. a bar. So yeah. bumper plates, bumper plates. All right. This is the last one. So I think that's five total, not six. All right. Last one. Are you going to go out for a run? You're doing cardio by the way, or any piece of cardio equipment that can uh, include a treadmill too. I'd go out for a run. What would you choose though for the, uh, would outside run or any cardio? Oh yeah. Easy outside run yeah. for sure. We're kind of outliers in that one, I think. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us. Did you like tonight's episode? Well then be sure to keep your eye out for new episode releases wherever you listen to podcasts, stay involved on our social media sites by following garage gym experiment and taking part in our Sunday surveys on Instagram so that you can be part of these conversations. Like follow, subscribe to the channel on YouTube and get involved on our website for all your home gym content needs. Be sure to be following Home Gym Con coming up in April in French Lick. We want to see you there. April 25th and 26th. Is that the Friday, Saturday? 25th, 26th? Keep getting 26, the, the, 27th. 26, 27th. I do that every time. Friday, Saturday in French Lick. And uh, we want to see you there. Check out those lists of prizes and raffles, not just for the competitors, but for anyone who shows up. Um, check out the list of prizes and raffles, not just for the competitors, but for anyone who buys a ticket, who's going to be there. It's going to be an amazing time. Follow home gym con on socials and by going to homegymcon.com to get your tickets. Jake, anything else left for the listeners? Nope. Are you, um, oh, are you reading the... that? Are you, are you Which reading part? that? Or do you have that memory? This last little segment, the home gym con part you... I make up every time. <laughs> but do That's you the read thing some I have of it? Down. Do you, oh, you have your I read, okay, got it. I read all the way down to behind the scenes stuff. Uh, it says, and get involved on our website for all your home gym content needs. Be sure to follow Home Gym Con. Jake, do you have anything else left for listeners? So then I like freelance after I say, be sure to follow Home Gym gotcha. Con. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Behind the scenes. All right, guys. Right. Thanks for listening. We will catch you next time. Bye. Bye.